So Panathinaikos, a team which I'm praying I've actually said the name right of, are a Greek powerhouse, but in FC24 don't have a league to actually play football in. Also, they're a team behind rivals Olympiakos, who won the Conference League and finished above them. So today, I'm tasked with rebuilding the Greek side and taking them to world domination. As yes, here we are, loading in to see the lineup. Now, at first glance, is not bad, but we've got to take a closer look. As I'm going through the squad hub to see the players, yes, the ratings are okay, but they are all very old. As hopefully an objective today helps complete our youth academy aims, as the first one isn't that. Because we are a Greek side and we have to play outside of Greece, with the league not being in the game, we need a minimum of five Greek players. That's in the 11 plus bench, as the other objective is simple. We need one player through the academy each season right here. As if we send a scout to Greece, we obviously will get Greek players through for that bench and first team to win the Champions League with. As that's the ultimate aim, and the team, like I say, it's not bad. It is really not bad, but only three Greek players in the 11. But one of them's a young right back. I'm going to be terrible with names today, but then we've got Bakasetas and also Ionadis, the captain of the club. And then also on the bench, we've got Zeka and Kotsiaris, making it five players altogether. And again, I'd like to highlight that point. I am going to be terrible with names today as our highest rated 77. And of course, he is a Greek man. As the league have put us in, I have gone for Turkey. I was close to putting them in England, but Greece is closer to Turkey. And it isn't going to be easy when you see some of the teams in here. Fenerbahce, Besiktas, Galatasaray, all interesting. As we need to make interesting moves with our money, because we've got £40 million to spend. And we've got enough Greek players. But I'd like to add more straight off the bat as we'll get on to Academy. But first, I'm going to sign the contracts up to see how much money we're left with. As after everyone signed up, 10 million left. But a little bit of that money has actually gone into scouting. Youth Academy scouting as Kletos Harris. He looks like our best player, but still only 52. Maybe can have an impact as I will go ahead and promote him for a loan. But Makis Kaya... He looks a lot better as he's straight onto the loan list. And I was thinking about loaning this man out, Georgios, the right back, but he is a Greek player. And in order to complete objectives, we do need him in the club, but we are going to spend money on another Greek player. As we only have one striker at the club, it only seems right to sign Tessos Duvikas, the Celta Vigo striker. As I'm so desperate to get him, and he's a little bit out of our price range, so I'm going to offer 8.5 with Sebastian Palacios. He's not Greek, by the way. He's an Argentinian winger, but they want Aitor instead. And to that, I say yes. As welcome to the club, I think he'll have a smashing time right here, right now, because he's 23 year old and only 74 rated. But we only play one striker and the Onadis is actually up front, so maybe we need to change this formation and our style of play. As I'm gonna go wing play, we have plenty of wingers at the club, although we aren't going to play them. Left mid and right mid. Yes, a 4-4-2 because I do need both strikers in the club. And I have got six Greek players. Linimos on the bench. Or Limnios, apologies. Again, I know I've got that one wrong. And yes, we are all set, I believe, for a first season. As we've got Kledos Harris out on loan, he has decided to go to crew in England. And that is all our business done. So to the season we go. As no European football, and I know... It is a shame, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. Could we have qualified in Turkey? As before we do check that, I am going to make a plea to you guys. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Your subscriptions mean the world, and you subscribing and watching these videos and leaving a like as well makes me be able to keep these going. Because without you guys watching, this doesn't exist. And this should be a good season, because we're not low down in Turkey. 
I don't know what to expect, but it is top five. And it's third, I think, with the orange number thing next to the number. It should be Europa League, which isn't really bad. We was in the title race all along, but Jose Mourinho is in Turkey and he's winning the league. I mean, he has got good players. And hey, we have won the cup, though. The Turk Kupasi. I will count it as the Greek Cup. If I can find the trophy to, of course, put it in the cabinet as this is the team I'm looking at and some changes have been made. Bernard, the Everton legend, I'm saying legend loosely, has not been played, but a Greek man in Limnos has. Or oh, Limnos, again, as we will change that as well, we've got Mancini on the wing as I'm looking at our strikers. Duvik has done well, he's gone up plus four in his first season. And Iona Danis has gone up plus three. Both 24, but our best player at the club. And I had no idea he was here. Bartholomew Dragoski. Turkey shot stoppers a good one as Karis out on loan. I don't know why he's got an actual English name. Almost 60 rated. It's good, but not out there. As I tell you what is out there. I did not expect Spora to score more than Duvika. Still, I don't mind it, and it has made me think, do we need more strikers in the club as Europa League group stages? That's all expected, and I'm not saying more strikers because of Spora, but a player that I have spotted. You'll just have to wait a mo, as we've got 20 million almost, and we have already bought our scouts. And it's just really contracts to pay right now. Has anybody out on loan I missed? I don't think so. Apart from Harris, who's come back at 61, the English league carried on. And he's in his best position. I thought maybe changing it would up his rating, but no. Hey, it's another Greek player to the bench at least. As I am changing positions up because I plan a new tactic. And Willian Arayo... I'm excited to see as a centre-back. As this is what I want to go with, and I know what you are screaming, Max. This is way too attacking. Three forwards and a cam. But I do want to try this. Mancini should be a centre-forward, and also Yudanis. And we're going to bring in another striker. Being this man, Robert Lewandowski, released from Barcelona and 35 years old. And what a signing this would be for the Greek league on the whole, as that is his shirt. Robbo is in Panathinaikos or Panathinaikos. I am really, really sweating now because I've got pressure on names, but Lewandowski's here, as there he is. There he is. Of course he's going up front. So Duvikas and Yonadis, they're both alongside him. As I'm going centre mid now, and I am going for a left back, and these won't be from Greece. But one player that will be is our academy man. Anyone better this year? Well, we have Milos Papadopoulos, still only 57. I will get him promoted, and I'm going to promote a few right now just to try and get some Greek players in and see if they do progress. But of course, no youth player in our team straight away. But one player that is, is the new signing I brought in, who can play left back and centre mid. Covers both positions for 3.5 million. It is max. Fingrafe, 70 rated, only 20. As the actual midfielder, though, that I am trying to bring into the club because I like torturing myself with names, Ishak Abdulrazak. He's into the club, taking the position of Arayo, who we need to check up on because he could be a decent centre-back. As let's see what he does. I know he is 32-year-old and he goes up to a 77. I wanted a 79, but I don't mind really because he will be replaced someday as long as he gets us out of this group with Juventus. As let's see this season, are we dreaming of Europa League? Let's skip to the end. Oh, we lost in the bloody cup. I don't know if that's before the Europa League final, but I don't expect us to win it. As I expect something good in the league and it's third. Again, we were challenging, but Jose Mourinho actually whitewashed us. I thought he said 84, actually 94. So we stood no chances. Juve blitzed us in the group and I know we've not won it because Juve won the whole thing. We were out in the preliminary 9-2 to Monaco. Wow, that was almost 10 goals. And be honest with me here, does this team deserve to lose by nine goals? You can see the goalkeeper, Dragowski, 
he's rightably unhappy. Or right to be unhappy. I can't speak in this video. Robert Lewandowski, minus four. I mean, he was a good signing. Scoring 19 goals, but he's actually behind Duvikas, who's leaving Jono Danis and looks like the next star. As do we change the shape again? I kind of don't want to do it, but I'm looking at Lewandowski and we do have a lot of money. But do you know what's not a lot of money? The kit I am wearing now, because it's a very cheap replica from Soccer Deal Shop. The sponsors of the channel, as you can use the code on screen to get a discount and help the channel, whilst also helping yourself to a lovely made kit. And this is very cheap on the store, as this team needs improving. And we've got some good ratings. Bakasetas is doing well. And I never touched on this man, Abdul Razak. Amazing. 77 in his first season. The defense is looking okay, but Arayo is only going to get older. And I am looking at another center back. But maybe another striker. Already, and I can't believe that I have to say that. Dragowski, at least we are sorted for a shot stopper. And sorted for the academy, as Dimitriou is in there. Now, I've just said we've got a keeper, and we're going to get another one. As yes, he's very young, and yes, we do have position changes. Yuna Danis is a center forward, which takes him up plus one. And same with Duvikas, but he doesn't get his upgrade. Still, he should only take six weeks to train properly as a centre forward. Lewandowski's still here, of course, as Verbich going up one, or going up none, sorry, as this man. He stays at 80. Liminos, does he change? Nope, he stays the same as well. Will anybody bloody change? As Mancini's still got 34 weeks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be smart about this. Dimitri, our backup keeper, because he's Greek. And it's a Greek player in the squad. And I am going to look for a striker as Liminos could go there. Or maybe I'll look for a winger and maybe sell Mancini. As here he is actually leaving. We did get a good deal in for him. 8 million from into Miami. He's going to go play with Messi. Who's unfortunately still there. And I say unfortunately because I had to check actually. Because with Lewa... You never know if he was a free agent, as I would have loved to try and swipe him. But instead, I'm going to try and swipe an American where Messi's playing, Jesus Ferreira. Absolute class for only 32 million. And I say only because it leaves us with midfielder money. As yes, I changed my mind on a defender. I'm going to give them one more season because I've got a midfielder and a friend for our man Jesus. This man's called Benjamin. Benjamin Krameshki, who is an American from Inter Miami, where we sold Makini to. As hopefully he's just a piece of the puzzle that can help us try and win the league and win the Europa League with a relatively easier group. As I hate to admit it really, but I think Lewandowski's time's up as when I show you the squad, 76 rated. The joint lowest in the team. As the two Americans have to come in because they make the team a lot better. Look at what we've got. Two 86ers and both are Greek players. It's now our fullback and centre-back weakest. A very solid team, which if it doesn't go far in the Europa League, it should least challenge Fenerbahce. As you saw the goals in the players there, and yes, I've skipped the top 96 points. We've come a long way. The reason I cheer so much is because of the budget. Not winning the Turkish League as the final of the cup hasn't played because we're not in it for once. But could we make the final of the Europa because we won the group joint with Feyenoord into the round of 16 where we lose to Lens 4-3 on aggregate. The French team take us out. And I don't think that should happen. With the squad we have, we should, keyword should, be getting better. Because the likes of Bacasetas, they will be retiring soon. As we go into this next season, season number five. And wait, because we won the league, does that make us Champions League contenders? Or not contenders, Max, don't be stupid. Or just a team in the Champions League as they want us in the quarterfinal. Maybe at a stretch. As we know what signings we need, we definitely need a centre-back and a left-back if we could. But maybe need a cam? Because Bakasetas will go down, I assure it. And is there any, just any Greek players around? 
that don't play for a rival team. I'm going to have to have a look as 52 million. That is a lot of money to tamper with. Definitely for first team players. The only thing I want to check is how far this man will on Araujo is off retirement. But he's not considering it. As I've scouted a centre-back first, I think we need a younger one first. And he is 26 year old. For a final year of contract, as welcome Loic Bade from Sevilla for 30 million, leaving us 20 million pounds. That's a lot for a left back. And yes, just left back because I'm taking an academy player from the year before, as I don't want to be spending big on them. Cheapskate Maximus in full swing right here, as there we go, he's in at centre half. Just gotta fix that left back. Although he's 22 years old, you know, do we give him. An opportunity. Maybe look for our cam now, but maybe just go all in. Or maybe we do something fun. We go for Konstantin Mavropanos, play him maybe right back, shuffle our right back to left back. As he's here for 22 million, wiping out our budget. As the Greek man actually leaves us with 8 euros in the bank. But if he can train us right back, which... He's actually better at left back now. As come on, Mavropanos needs to be in the middle of the park as maybe Yedvice is getting a little bit older. Maybe we just rock with that one. As let's hope our new Greek when making it five players in the first team can compete in Europe with Arsenal, Sevilla and Co. As get out of the group. That is what I'm going to say to our lads. No team talk, no issuing. Get out of that group. As this team should have done, look at the players that we have. I mean, everyone over 80 now, apart from this man. Kramashki, you slipped past me. He is 22 years old still, so still a bit of time to grow. It's our top scorers this season. For Tiss with 45. Wow, I didn't expect to see that. I mean, all our front three. Very good to me. And where are them goals being scored? Not on the field, of course, but in the league or the Champions League as league. Second place. Joint on points with Fenerbahce. And we did get more on goal difference. Maybe head to head. That's ruined our Turkish league win or Greek league win. That is, of course, what we're going to count it as. as congratulations to them cup teams, Sivaspor and Demispor. You don't expect them through as you don't expect us through, but we beat Sevilla to get to the round of 16 where we went to face Madrid and we lost 6-4. But I tell you one thing for sure, I don't mind it. As let's give it another go because we are in it next year, the semi-final. I thought maybe with finishing second in the league we wouldn't get in there. But of course we have done, but we need to sign some more players to beat the likes of Madrid. As where do we go to? I feel midfield is our weakest because I think Balde and Mavropanos will continue to grow. So yes, midfield we chase. As before we chase anything though, Greece... We are going to send a scout out to there. Any late races for the team? Well, Nikos Harris, another Greek player with the second name Harris. I apologize if that's common, but I've never actually seen it before as we've got five Greek players. Our fullbacks, or not fullbacks, one fullback and then Mavropanos, who's playing centre-back. And then we've got our Cam. And then, of course, our two centre forwards. Just love them two wide players as they're both central. But play wide as a player that does play central, Eunice Musa of the US. And here he is, another player from America coming to Greece. And I do think this is a good one. He should help the players around him. In Kramasi, both being American and Bakasetas, well, replacing him really, because he's going to be at the squad very soon. I don't want to lose him. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but this man is Edouard. Odson Edouard, and he's coming in to replace Lewandowski. Can you believe it? For £50 million, Odson Edouard is the man to take the polls number. And his place on the bench. That is just horrific to see. We don't have a winger on the bench. We can try Papadopoulos, which makes it one, two, three. And then five in the main team. So eight Greeks. I love that fact right there. Flying the flag for Greece. And we've made the Champions League because it wasn't guaranteed with our second place finish. And we're going straight from table to table because we're at the end of the season right now. 
And remember when Fenerbahce was dominating this league? Things have turned over because we are hammering teams. I think we made it like halfway through January unbeaten was very nice to see as we only just won on penalties but we've done the league and cup double over here in turkey greek team hammering all the turkish teams and that is a surprise to me right now in this save still as we got out of our group and then we went to man united and we gave real madrid a go this time we've done united Beating them 1-0, absolutely phenomenal. And we've done the same to Chelsea in the quarterfinals right there. No City, no Madrid. Is there a chance for us? We beat Dortmund 2-0. Clean sheets all the way through the Champions League to the final, which we will face Barcelona in. And I honestly don't believe it. I mean, we do have two 90-rated wingers. Does our attack just carry us? It must have done. It must have done us. Look at Ion Addis. 93 rated. And I'm probably still saying his name wrong. Same with Duvikas. He's 93. And on the bench, Musa. Why didn't I start him? Into the team he goes. And actually, I can make this a normal 4-3-2-1. There we go. We'll have to be defensive in the Champions League final. But we also have a solid keeper, Dragowski, then Balde, and also Mavropanos. Who, surprisingly enough to me, is not our highest rated defender. That goes to Georgios, who will leave for Manchester United. We get 45 million, and it's the first time I've ever done a pre-contract selling in this save. But we might not see the end of it. As we might not get a chance to actually see us get over 100 million euros for our bank account. As let's be honest with ourselves, this is usually maybe a pre-season game where Barcelona head to Greece for the sun and drinks. As that's my experience from Greece, having very nice Fanta drinks as they're uh, just whacking it behind our net. Which stadium is this at? Is it the Veltins Arena? I can't tell, but we've got to play our game. I am worried about our defense, but our Greek and American players should make a difference as that's Sven Graffe, our actual German player, and he's passed it offside. See what I mean about bad defenders? Not good going forward and also not good going backwards as this is Jesus Ferreira. Don't know why he's so far back, but he's got away with it as still... I saw him making that run. We just couldn't squeeze the ball through to him. Maybe cross it towards him. But Gatti in the way. As, hey, we've got the ball back through Finkergrave. And now we need to go again. Mavropanos, Kremashki. That's a good ball into Abdul Razak. Trying to run around the houses. Give it into our right back. Who I'm not going to try and say the name of. As, hey, our attack is very good. And it is proving to be good. As Jesus Ferreira. Just had to try a shot. You've got to be testing the keeper as I want our centre forwards in the game a bit more. Come on, where are they? This is Duvikas going centrally. Our number 14. He's glided away from players and only Ter Stegen to beat. Referee, that's a penalty. We actually could get a lead against Barcelona at the Champions League final venue. That is one of the worst tackles I've ever seen. As it's the Greek captain, Ionadis, who's an original. And I'm still saying his name wrong, but he's right in scoring. The number seven puts its side net in to Stegen going the wrong way. Committed wrongly, just like he did for the foul. And 1-0 to Panathinaikos. That is an amazing goal from our captain leading the way. Still a long way to go. I won't lie to you, I did the press conference. I motivated these lads and you could tell in Duvikas just seems sharper and happier. As actually Barcelona in general trying to get their way into this game as that is a poor header clearance from us. But still we keep the ball and there's only one minute till half time. Whack that ball my German fellow. That is the game over. Or half of the game over, should I say? But referee, I wouldn't mind if you actually did blow the whistle right now. That would help me a lot in my stress and my warmth as we need to go forward. I am sweating like mad, trying to actually keep hold of this lead as that's a shot from Victor Roque. They're getting more into the game right now, as Barcelona do. And that's a very good corner front post. No chance it's handball. How are we supposed to avoid that? What's the referee seen here? It's just a man in the... Oh, my... De I can't believe that. It's going to be a penalty to them. We scored from the spot, and now it's their chance to do that. 
No save in that one. Barca back in the game. We go again, though, lads. We go again, as now it's our right back in the middle, Duvikas. We haven't seen him since he won the penalty. More involved, please, as this is a good move, though. Abdul Razak into Ferreira. Uses the run as a dummy and gives it into Duvikas. Now back into Israq. A good shot. Saved by the keeper, though, as I'm going to try a corner routine. Ferreira into Israq, who's going to whip that to the back post. And Duvikas is there. The corner's set, Rupee. Or routine. I can't even say the words. Working to perfection. A goal from another Greek. Both are 93 rated centre forwards with now goals. In the Champions League final, let's look at this for well worked. Our striker went out to collect it and our centre forward heads it home. A really good set piece, which I will not stop speaking about, but could we add to it more? Duvigas with the shot! The dream is more alive when our number 14, who was our first signing, does that. We're 3-1 up now. After looking out of the game, set piece magic and magic from our best player or joint best player gets us in front. And it shows you do just need good attackers in your team because our defence isn't that good as it's proved because they're always bloody running at it. Midfield nowhere to be seen and Pedri into Rafinha. What a tackle by the right back though. The first good thing he has done is Mavropanos is going to get stuck. Oh my days. Letting Barca back in the game. And that's going to mean a very squeaky bum time ending. Come on, let's just keep the ball. I am not going to pass it around the back. I'm actually going to try and pass it forward. But maybe I should have kept it in defense. Rafinha running through. And that's got to be a red card, surely. For our left back to win the Champions League. And he's actually only got a yellow. Very lucky boy. As I can't even see my goalkeeper from here. But it's over the top. And the whistle follows it. As for the first time ever, we have taken a Greek team to glory. And now we'll just see the trophy leave straight away. Who is the man to lift it? Oh, of course, Ionadis. How have I already forgot this one? I've never said his name right once, I don't think. But still, I'm very happy with him. The OG player lifts the trophy into the sky. As if you want to see another Greek save, comment below and click here for more vids.